Today in this video we are going to be replacing the stock clamp on our Varla with the upgraded one. The reason why we are doing this is to avoid wobble, to avoid creaking and to give us basically a bit more safety when riding these at high speeds. It's quite easy to do, you're just going to need a few tools. I'm going to walk you through the whole process and if you love electric scooters that is what I cover on this channel so subscribe if you're into that sort of thing. So the first thing that we're going to need is going to be a 13 millimeter socket and we are also going to need a 6 millimeter allen. This is going to be just to slide the stock clamp off which is quite easy. We're just going to make sure our clamp is loose first of all. We're going to put our 13 on this side we're going to also get our allen and put it on the opposite side so we're just going to loosen it like so pretty easy to do and then we're just going to take this out socket comes out and then this side here we're going to lift the weight on the handlebar so take it off and it pops out like so and that does have a washer so just be careful not to lose that so we're just going to place that down there now for a second the next thing is when you do order the rugged clamp you're going to get a shim like this this shim just pops in this here so we simply get our shim that pops down like so next step is we're going to slide off the stock clamp so i'm just going to show you a comparison of the stock clamp compared to the upgraded clamp that we're going to be fitting. So you can see here there's quite a difference in size. This is thicker, thinner. This is the height of this one compared to the height of this one. By the way, this is linked in the description below if you do want to get it, which obviously I'd highly recommend. Also, the bolts you get with the new one, they are a bit more high grade compared to the threaded bolts that you do get on the stock one. So obviously, you know, it's quite a different comparison. So it's definitely worthwhile getting this. Okay, so before we install this, there is something I do want to point out. Some people tend to have the two clamps on one side. Some people tend to have one on one side and one on the opposite side. To be honest, I've always used clamps to be in the same direction. So the force is the same. But I mean, it's entirely up to you if you want to have one clamp on this side, another clamp on the other side. It's quite easy to change, so don't be worried about that. So what we do next is we need to just make sure we put this on the same direction. So we're going to have the open end facing outwards. And we're going to have this part here facing inwards where your feet will be going. So we'll just put it exactly as you see here. Pop that on. Let that slide on like so. Pop down this. Next thing is we're going to put our bolt back in. Remember the closed end is facing this part and this open end is facing outwards. Okay, get our nut here. Pop that back on till we get a good squeeze. Okay, get your ratchet, not too tight. Okay, that's perfect. So it's quite easy guys. So we're just gonna finish doing the touches up on it here. So after you have installed the clamp, the first time you go to put it up, it's gonna be a little bit stiff. So you can just put your foot on the back if you want, just to kind of rest it there. And then gently bring it up. And it's gonna feel firm. So that's pretty good. Now before we do anything, we do have this jack and bolt here. We're just gonna loosen that just a little bit. Now the idea with these is that you don't want them to be way too tight. You just want them to be tight enough to hold everything in place. If you over tighten something like this, you're probably asking for an accident. So make sure it's dead on center. So it's dead on center here. Dead on center here, obviously. Make sure it's obviously pushed fully down, which it is. Everything is absolutely perfect. Then we're just gonna tighten this, tighten this one, okay. This one here, tighten this one. Okay, it feels a bit too loose there, so I think I'm better off giving that another squeeze. Okay, that's definitely much better. Same with this one. Okay, 
Okay, perfect. That's nice and tight. So before we do this jack and bolt, let's just get on the scooter here. Let's see how it feels. Make sure there's no wobble. Perfect, absolutely perfect. I'm gonna share with you as well a top tip now in a second. But let's finish off this here. And what this does is it obviously helps firm up everything even more. Okay, perfect. So I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Everything feels firm, good to go. So if you do happen to, there is, you know, squeaking like on a lot of stems. If you happen to still have squeaking from this, or if the squeaking has just started and you have installed the rugged clamp, you can actually use silicone sprays. So when you open your handlebars, when you flip it down, you can spray silicone, just a small bit on the inside, which is absolutely brilliant. I've used it on a number of scooters and it's definitely something that you should have. I'm gonna do a video on all the tools that I have as well. So I definitely feel a lot more safer now riding the Varla Eagle One. If you did miss out on any of the other videos that I've done, the full review, the unboxing, they are linked in the description and they will also be linked in the eye in the top right hand corner. But in the meantime, stay safe on your scooters and I'll talk to you in the next video.